Hey everybody, it's Dave. Um, I've got a lot of these days. Uh, some schools have called for me to tune. So here's another one. Uh, this one's got a really bad G. So it's like way out. So usually not too much of a problem uh, fixing these it goes. So let me get some. Even though pretty much one note is the big culprit on this instrument, I'm uh, going to tune the thing because it's always just good practice to get everything all cleaned up. For some bizarre reason, I love to start on E flat. like a Patrick Arnold pan. Patrick Arnold is a pan tuner on the island of Tobago. Um, just the way the groove lines look. I used to do it with a punch like a hammer like this. Just go around the notes with a punch. So it kind of looks like his work. Looks like the shaping of the bowl is like his. Some of the notes look kind of like his. So it'd be interesting to find out who made this one. Sometimes it's marked on the back. I don't see anything. All right, on to G sharp.
is really good. Even though it's an old pan, it uh, seems like it's been maintained, like everything seems to be working, the octaves and everything. see it but there was a big weld mark right here so it looks like when uh, the drum was originally made uh, it probably cracked right there when they were sinking it down with the sledgehammers but back in the old days you would take these drums and use a sledgehammer like this to sink it down one hit at a time into this bowl shape and uh, these days, a lot of people use pneumatic hammers like this, air tools, to sink them down into the bowl shape. But this was almost definitely sunk down with hand tools. Anyway, either way, it doesn't matter what kind of tool you're using, a crack can appear occasionally. So this one was welded. It makes a little bit weird tuning. The metal reacts strangely sometimes around a weld because the weld tends to be harder material than the surrounding steel. Do that. Oh, this is a interesting drum because look, 
the owner attach these little fixture things on the... I can't tell if that's where the owner is mounting the drum, or if, because it has straps, or if using the straps, you mount like a little umbrella on it or something. I'm not sure, can't quite tell. But uh, right now, they keep hitting my stand. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Um, if something was attached to the skirt here, either an umbrella or a stand, can make the sound of the drum go out of tune because it's pushing or pulling on the skirt, which causes tension on the steel. And the tension bends the top just a little bit and could put these notes slightly out of tune. Uh, so just if anybody ever tries to do that or whatever, just be aware that it might throw the notes off a little bit. The only way to do that is to actually have it on the stand or have those things mounted on the drum while you tune it. That way all the tension stays the same. Stays the same. All right, so uh, the funny part is uh, right as I was tuning the G, that's uh, funny. Anyway, so the problem no G. came in pretty quickly, had to work on it a little bit, but uh, that's usually a sign of a maintained, a well-maintained pan, and that's been tuned by uh, probably good tuners over the years. It came back into tune pretty readily, and I didn't have to chase it all over the place to get it back into tune. So, uh, that's always a nice thing to run into. can be uh, difficult to um, tune. It's a real small note. Oh, this is interesting. I just noticed this. Normally there's a there's two different kinds of tenor pans typically. There's a low D tenor pan which was made more uh, made more frequently in the 80s and 90s and then now there's a low C meaning that the lowest note on the drum is a uh, middle C. So on this drum, I'm tuning a C here, and I'm noticing that this C is not the lowest note. The lowest note I would have uh, considered was the low D tenor pan, but then I just thought about it to myself, wait a minute, I don't remember tuning the high C sharp over there. And it turns out that this is a low C sharp tenor pan. So the lowest note on this tenor pan is C sharp. So this has got a little bit of a special instrument here, and a little bit different than most. Back to tuning the C. So this note is really flat.
sounds better. Moving on to F.